a lot of screenwriters will use note cards like these to get started in organizing their scenes before they start writing the actual first draft. I did this on one script out of the three I've written so far this year, and it actually paid off really well by using note cards on that particular script. It's not something that takes a lot of time, but it saves you a ton of time when you go to sit down and write that first draft. Today, I started on the note cards for script number four. Note cards are a great way to have a visual representation of your script before you start writing that first draft. Each note card represents a scene or a location, and you're gonna end up with about 40, maybe 50 at the most for a feature length screenplay. The last one I did, we had a little over 40. Now using note cards as a tool to develop a script is nothing new. It's something that you'll see in plenty of writer's offices where they have note card after note card stuck up on a cork board, or they might have them laid out on a table. Some people even do them digitally. It's a very hands-on way to structure your script. And you get a bird's eye view when you look at that cork board or that table and see, all right, this is where my movie starts, this is where it progresses, and this is where it ends. Now I wanna share with you how I use these note cards. I'll have a slug line at the top that describes where that particular scene is taking place in general. I don't get super specific. It might say interior, school, day, that's it. And then from there, I'll have a brief description of the scene. Basically introduces what characters are in that scene and what's actually happening. It's a quick summary, it's two to three sentences at the most. Then at the bottom, I'll have a plus and minus sign it lets me know if that scene goes from a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive. Generally, you want scenes to be ordered in a way that they have a positive to a negative, and then the next scene will be a negative to a positive so that you have some flow to your story. Now, also on the bottom, I have two arrows point at each other that represent the conflict. You want to write down a sentence that briefly summarizes the conflict in that scene. And that's how I use note cards to structure my movie before I get started. And I think it's a great way for you to structure your story as well.